Makalipas lamang po ng ilang araw mula ng eleksyon dito sa Pilipinas, marami na pong mga balita at kaganapan ang siyang nangyayari. Isa na po sa napabalita ay, totoo bang ang ilang mga investors ay unti-unti nagpo-pull out ng kanilang mga investment here in the Philippines? Alamin po natin sa eksaktong video ito kasi napaka-importante how the different country leaders actually see ang pagkapanalo po ng ating leading presidential candidate at iba pa pong mga opisyal ng gobyerno, let's find out ano po ba masasabi ng mga country leaders sa pagkapanalo ni BBM at ni Sara At gayon din po, makakaapekto ba ito sa ating ekonomiya? Alamin po natin sa video ito. Hi mga kabayan at kaibigan and welcome to my channel. This is Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan pinag-uusapan po natin ang current events, travel updates and protocols at iba pa pong mga inspiring na mga topics na makakatulong to keep you informed. At gayon din po makakagapag-gabay po sa inyo. For this specific topic, titingnan po natin at ang episode na ito ay Balita para sa iyo. Kabayan, saan man dako ka ng mundo, nais natin that you will be kept informed with the truths at gayon din po sa mga balitang talaga pong nangyayari sa ating bansa. Ngayon po, alamin natin, marami kasi mga balita at kaganapan na po ang nangyayari simula noong May 9, 2022 kung saan nagkaroon po tayo ng presidential election. At kayong din po ng national and local election for different government official na ko, napaka-controversial naman. At syempre, ang ninanais po ng ating channel ay maibigay po sa inyo yung accurate true at correct na mga information dahil different types of social media are uh, sim- or different types of media actually are saying different reports so uh, let us find out so what i did is gather all the information that we can from different leaders ng different countries. Ano ba ang kanilang masasabi sa pagkapanalo ni BBM at ni Sara? Nang sa gayon ay magkaroon din po tayo ng awareness, ang nais po natin sa ating programa is for us to be fed with truth and not any information that will simply make us panic or kaya maalarma lang po. So ang gusto po natin is malaman natin ano pa ang katotohanan. Ngayon, if we will analyze it, napaka-importante tingnan ang pananaw ng mga leaders ng iba't ibang bansa sa pagkapanalo ng ating magiging bagong presidente at bagong a vice president sapagkat ito ang magdedetermine whether will our economy be successful in the coming uh, days months and years at meron bang reason to panic sige po Ginather po natin yung ilan sa mga information so that you'll have a great idea about it at nang sa gayon malaman talaga natin um Is there, is there a truth in what we are actually hearing in the past few days? Or isa na naman po ba ito sa mga news na nais lang tayo mabahala? So ayaw po natin nun because what we want is the truth. And at the same time, balitang may accuracy. So tingnan po natin. What would country leaders say about BBM Cyrus win? Will this affect the economy? Simula na po natin sa pinakamalaking bansa sa buong mundo. Simula na po natin sa isa sa malaking bansa sa buong mundo. Ang presidente ng United States, ano po ang kanyang pananaw at ano po ang kanyang uh, kumbaga masasabi sa pagkapanalo ni BBM at ni Sara? Ito po ang sinabi ng President of the United States. According to President Joseph R. Biden Jr., he spoke today with the President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. of the Philippines to congratulate him on his election. And at the same time, President Biden underscored that he definitely looks forward to working with the President-elect to continue strengthening the U.S.-Philippine alliance while expanding bilateral cooperation on a wide range of issues, including the fight against COVID-19, addressing the climate crisis, promoting broad-based economic growth, and respect for human rights. Ang source po natin dito is from the White House statement and release. 
From the US, punta naman po tayo sa South e- Southeast Asia. Now, sinabi naman po ng Chinese ambassador to the Philippines na si Wang Silian, congratulations to President-elect BBM and Vice President-elect Sarah. I have extended warmest congratulations to President-elect Bongbong Marcos and Vice President-elect Sarah Duterte with their vision for the Philippines and wisdom to navigate the different obstacles. I am confident that a Philippines under the next administration will surely demonstrate unprecedented unity to rise above all challenges, to recover from the pandemic, and to prosper. And I have no doubt that under the next administration, our bilateral relations will only become stronger, our people's closer and our cooperation deeper and wider. We look forward to working with the next Philippine government to upgrade our relationship to comprehensive strategic operation to new heights and bring more tangible benefits to the peoples of the two countries. I have the honor to convey the congratulatory messages from Chinese President Xi Jinping to President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and from Chinese Vice President Wang Shishan to Vice President-elect Sara Duterte, respectively. Now, this came from the social media or Facebook account of the Chinese ambassador. Now, Xiao Li John, China congratulates the Philippines on the smooth presidential election. Our congratulations also goes to the leading candidates. We hope and believe that the various political forces in the Philippines will continue to work in solidarity for national renewal and development. Ito po ay pagbati mula sa Chinese Foreign Ministry, spokesperson Xiao Li John. Ito naman po ay mula sa U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony J. Blinken's statement on the Philippine presidential election. On behalf of the United States, I congratulate President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. on his election as the Philippines' next president. We look forward to working with the President-elect Marcos to strengthen the enduring alliance between the United States and the Philippines. Our special partnership is values or is rooted in a long and deeply interwoven history, shared values and interests, and strong people-to-people ties. As friends, partners, and allies, we will continue to collaborate closely with the Philippines to promote respect for human rights and to advance a free and open, connected, prosperous, secure, and resilient Indo-Pacific region. We commend the millions of Filipino voters who cast their ballots in this election, and we look forward to the official conclusion of the electoral process for the many offices in the national elections. And at the same time, si Secretary Anthony Blinken po, nag-tweet po siya. Ang sabi niya, congratulations to the people of the Philippines on their national elections and to President-elect Marcos on his victory. We look forward to working together to strengthen an enduring alliance with the Philippines. And then, ito po naman. So from the United States, Southeast Asia, Let's now go to Europe. Now, let us just take a look at the congratulatory note from the British ambassador to the Philippines. Laura Bufils said, We congratulate the Philippines on its successful national elections. We look forward to working with the next president, vice president, and all elected officials to further strengthen our long-standing ties. And from Australia, Australian ambassador to the Philippines, he said, Stephen J. Robinson, AO, he said, we congratulate the Philippines on the holding of its national elections yesterday. We look forward to working with the next president, vice president, and all the officials democratically elected by the Philippine people. And from Japan, from Koshikawa, Kazuhiko, the ambassador of Japan in the Philippines, he said, My sincerest congratulations to the Philippines for its conduct of the 2022 national elections. Honored to have witnessed the first hand or first hand of this incredible exercise of democracy. I look forward to working with a new administration and bringing the Philippine and Japan ties to a greater heights. This is from the Twitter account of the Ambassador of Japan. So with that, everyone, we could see how important really are, you know, 
the points of view and at the same time how the leaders of different countries extended their congratulatory message to the new elect president and vice president of the Philippines. So uh, with all those uh, negative news that are coming out, like in the past few days regarding some countries are, you know, pulling out investments, so forth and so on. Now, I also have a try to research some uh, information about this. I watch one and you can watch that too. So I, it was an interview with a uh, newly elected or re-elected Senator Win Gachalian, who was also a broker or he was also into stocks who was also into stocks or stock market a long before. So he was saying that it cannot be attributed only to the election because as a stockbroker or in the stock market, you know, uh, different, uh, it goes up and down. Some people will invest, sometimes it will go high, it will go low. So, but it cannot only be attributed uh, to the election. But then again, he says, just watch out for the stock market because it will improve again. So again, uh, looking at both of this, like, information. So I simply can say that uh, the economy of the Philippines looking forward uh, that, you know, with the projects, with the plans that were mentioned during the time that they were sharing about their platform for the company, for the uh, Philippines, that we definitely will have economic development continuously and overcome some of the hurdles na meron po tayo sa ating ekonomiya. So mga kabayan, yan po ang mga pananaw at the same time po mga pagbati mula po sa iba't ibang leaders ng iba't ibang bansa na I believe nakakapagbigay po sa atin ng confidence na they are actually uh, supporting yung ating uh, bagong president-elect and vice president-elect ng ating bansa. Marami po pong mga updates uh, sa mga susunod na araw at yaan po ay definitely ihahatid ko sa inyo ng sa gayon we are kept informed with the true and at the same time accurate balita or mga news sa uh, loob at labas ng ating bansa. Muli po mga kabayan, ako po si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV uh, show host at naghahatid sa inyo ng balita para sa iyo. Kabayan. So with that, iniimbitahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking channel. Kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-subscribe, nang sa gayon ay hindi lang po kayo makakapanood ng video vlogs, but you'll get updated also with what's happening in and out of our country. At syempre, if you find this video helpful and informative, please click like. And I'm inviting you. Uh, then sa next videos ko, na definitely makakatulong po sa inyo. With that, mga kabayan, I'll see you in my next video. May God bless you and may God bless the Philippines. Maraming salamat, mga kabayan.